Tyboy Stevenson finally out promoting his fight too little too late. But he talking about everything except the person he fighting. Make it make sense, man. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. Catch me live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Singing on GKQKC Boxing Network on Sunday mornings as well at 9 a.m. Also, if you want to debate, knockoutboxing86yahoo.com is the email. You can also hit me up, um, you know what I'm saying, by just coming by the channel and pulling up and hitting the link. But let's get to it, bro. Look, Shakur Stevenson interviews are starting to pop up all over the place. Specifically, I watched the one with him on the Pivot Podcast. Um, and also his promotion, just in general, bro. This Edwin De La Santos fight is his opportunity to become a three-division champion. It's his opportunity to become a bigger star in the sport of boxing. And I must say, top rank ESPN, his management team, whoever is supposed to be making sure that he become a star, they doing him a disservice, bro, because his promotion sucks. It's trash, bro. And I don't really blame the Pivot Podcast because they was asking questions and shit, but they ain't talk about it fight till like the last two minutes of the interview, bro. Two minutes of the interview, they talking about it fighting shit. Other than that, they talking about everything under the sun. You know what I'm saying? Money and all these taxes and and what made, you know, the, Olymp the, the amateur Olympics, bro. All due respect, man, we don't care about the Olympics no more, man. What happened, happened, bro. You done since then become a world champion, a unified champion. We want to hear the good shit. They should have did a little bit more research. You got to do what Devin, what Devin Haney doing, bro. Every time you talk, listen, I'm going to call out bullshit, but I'm going to tell the truth, too. And, it, and, and every time you talk about Devin, what, every time they do a Devin interview, they do a Bill interview. I hate it as a fan, but what they doing, man? They talking about Tank. They talking about, they talking about, uh, Shakur because they know how to sell themselves they know how to sell the fight they got press conferences and shit when your press conference bro when is the Shakur Stevenson Edwin De La Santos press conference bro they got a face off coming they filmed the face off did y'all do a face off how, bro they gave Emmanuel Navarrete and Oscar Valdez a blood sweat and tears episode Shakur Stevenson ain't got no blood, sweat, and tears episode, bro. Where his blood, sweat, and tears? Where his document? Where his 24 7? Where they, where is his motherfucking uh all access? Where is shit at, bro? They ain't got nothing for him. And they making a man fight on a Thursday, bro. I see what the viewerships look like on Thursdays on, on my channel alone. Like November the 16th, the Bengals playing, bro. That's Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow. You, 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 you fighting on the Thursday night? Doing football season? Yeah, you might need, you say, he, you say you're going to be a free agent at the end of this year. And this contract of you. You might need to look into that shit, bro. See what's up. You fight a uh, Thursday, bro. Tuesday night fights was a thing. Friday night fights been a thing before. You know what I mean? Thursday night fights during football season. Bob Aaron punishing you. He like, oh, you you talking about you gonna weigh your options? <laughs> you talking about you gonna weigh your options? All right, cool, no problem. I got you. No problem. I got you. You fighting on Thursday? <laughs> And here's the thing, too, bro. I do like that he ain't overly talk about Devin Haney, but you got to pick one. Either you got to oversell the fight that you in, or you're going to have to bring up the bigger names and shit and talk about the bigger names. You're going to have to either go full out and do what Devin and Bill are doing. You're going to have to talk about Tank. You're going to have to talk about you going to have to talk about Devin. You're going to have to talk about Aloma. You're going to have to talk about the bigger names in and around your division. Talk about Tia Fimo. Either go all out and do that, or you're going to have to just sell the fight with Edwin. You can't do the wrong thing both, and I think he missed a grand opportunity on the Pivot podcast. I check out the other interviews, but on the Pivot, he didn't do enough. My dog just hit me in the damn face. She crazy. We trying to walk her at the park. She crazy. Blue, you crazy. 
I'll be right back though, y'all. When I get on out here and get so like on. Like I was trying to say before my dog blue slapped me in my face with her tail. Shakur Stevenson, he did the worst thing you could do trying to promote his fight, in my opinion. He didn't talk about the big names enough. And he didn't talk about the fight that he fighting enough. He was just in between. This was like a Shakur Stevenson documentary, bro, about his life and coming up and him being the best and what he did in the Olympics and making money and all that. Look, bro, you you successful and shit. But we, I mean, questions for people like, that's an interview that you give somebody after they done won the biggest fight. Like, man, you the best. Let's talk about your life, your career, how you been through it, how you did it. You still on your journey to try to be that, bro. So you need to be talking about the biggest and best fights. You need to be talking about the actual fight that you in. And you need to start building up a rivalry and shit. And, 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 and getting people talking about you. I'm literally, bro, I'm good at this shit, right? I love making content talking boxing over here, bro. You didn't give me nothing. You, you you talked about Tank for one or two sentences. You talked about Edwin for one or two sentences. And you talked about Devin for one or two sentences. You got to get the people something, bro. You got to you got to make us feel like okay, yeah, we hey, he talking that talk. Well, yeah, bro, we got to tune in. He said he going to do this to him. He going to do that to him. You gave us absolutely nothing, bro. You gave us too little of everything. Damn, you either gotta go all the way out to just be that dude that gonna sell your fight or go all the way out to, to, to market yourself and attach yourself to the names and shit we wanna see you fight. You gotta do one or the other, bro. So he doing himself a disservice. I feel like Top Rank is doing him a disservice. ESPN is doing him a disservice. I just feel like his overall marketing and shit, he got a lot of people in his pockets, a lot of people taking money out of his purses, a lot of people charging him for shit, and they ain't doing their goddamn job, bro. Cause for the life of me, he shouldn't be fighting on no Thursday. For the life of me, he should be marketed heavy. For the life of me, if you giving, bro, if you giving Oscar Valdez and Emmanuel Navarrete, bro, if they getting blood, sweat, and tears, bro, you can't get one for Shakur Stevenson. You can't get one for Shakur Stevenson, bro. He a way bigger name than them here in America, bro. He a bigger star than them, bro. So I'm just not, I'm, I'm just not, I'm excited about the fight because I'm a diehard boxing fan, but I'm also not excited about the fight at the same time between him and Edwin De La Santo because people get to use that shit against you. That's why I want the Devin Haney fight and Regis a pro great fight to be as big as possible because when you do numbers like that, when you do numbers like that, you are able to get bigger fights because now you bring in your revenue to the table. You bringing fans to the table. You showing that you can sell. You showing that you a big name in the sport. I want that for Shakur too, bro. But you ain't going to get it with the way they moving him. These interviews should have been dropping two, three, four weeks ago so we could talk about them. And they should have been spicy. They should have been lit. They should have been on point. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. The interview with the Pivot Podcast was cool, but I'm really, as I said on the short, I just wanted to go in more detail here on this video, man, this evening, before I shut it down and get ready for tomorrow and chill the rest of the night. I just wanted to say, bro, the promotion of Shakur Stevenson in his fight against Edwin De La Santos is a travesty, bro. They are not doing a good job of this shit. And then Shakur himself, you do some more interviews this week, bro. Either go all out talking about Edwin and how people need to buy this fight, tune in to this fight, watch this fight, and talk about him. Or talk about Tank, talk about Devin more too. Talk about the shit that you know fight fans want to hear, bro. It's going to get us riled up, get us talking about you, get us tuning in to your fight and shit. Don't be talking about the Olympics, bro. That man talked about the Olympics like 15, 20 minutes, bro. And they kept asking him about the shit, having him expand upon the shit. Nah, that shit, bro, he ain't trying to hear that. That shit was in 2016, bro. It's 2023, fam. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Smash the like, sub to the channel. I'll catch y'all on the next one.